ready to give you all my tips. Based down in my shadows on ride and the two belongs to us. Just please subscribe, comment if you like. Cause we like to be big face. Huh? Nay, we like to be big face. Huh? Nay. Okay, so Beyonce premiered her new video for Party. Damn, Beyonce, do you ever take a rest? Like, she's come out literally with like four videos in a month, and I'm totally not complaining because I love Beyonce. But, um, I don't know, it's like record-breaking video putting outing. It's crazy. And I can't keep up. I have to sleep, Beyonce. But this video had several different looks, and I kind of combined all of them together. Um, this eye you guys have seen, I did an eye similar to this because Beyonce did it um, in one of her world tours. She wore a look similar to this. So you've kind of already seen me done this, but the purple underneath um, and the pink lip is totally new. And like I said, I combined the green that she was wearing. First, in the beginning of the video, she had on green eyeliner. Then at the very end of the video, when she's with Kelly Rowland, she had a totally green eye, just like this. And then in the middle of the video, when she's in the pool, she had on this pink lip gloss, and she had on these dark purples under her eye. So, like I said, I incorporated all of those looks together into one look. And if you care to see how I did this, I certainly do hope you will stay tuned. Okay, guys, to start this look, I'm going to take a MAC eyebrow pencil in the color of stud. I'm going to draw out the extension of my eyebrow and just outline the bottom. If you don't have any of the products that you see me using, just substitute with what you do have. There you go. You see how you can now uh, see a better shape to my brow? And I'm going to take a dark brown eyeshadow to fill in the remainder of my eyebrow. This is a color called Espresso from MAC. This is what I normally use to fill in my eyebrow. Okay, and you see we've got ourselves a nicely defined eyebrow just by outlining and filling it in. Now we're going to need to have a base. So I'm going to put down Soft Ochre from MAC. This is just like a flesh colored base. This is the one that uh, people who watch me regularly see me put on all the time. And you'll see I'm using that from my lid all the way up under my brow and I'm just blending it in with my fingers. And for the highlight that we have right here under the brow, I'm going to take this color from MAC. It's my favorite highlight. It's called Rice Paper. It's got a slight sheen to it and I'm just putting that right under the brow and this will define your brow even more. And you see when it hits light, it kind of shimmers. Just to make sure we don't have one sh harsh line, I'm using my finger to just kind of blend that in. Okay, and to outline our eye for the green shape that we have here, I'm going to take a color and product that I haven't really used before. I'm using NYC's Waterproof Eyeliner Pencil. That's what it looks like. And it was super, super cheap, like $2.99 or something. And I got to tell you... Um, had I known it was going to be this good, I would have gotten several colors in this because it's very, very smooth. So that means two things. It goes on really easily, number one. And number two, it's easy to blend in. And I got it at CVS. Okay, so I'm going to start from the very corner of my eye here. And I'm just going to lightly trace. And you see I've made a very faint line. Anytime that maybe you've drawn something, you traced it first and then went over it with a heavier line. So your eye shadow or something like this is no different. Now I'm going to go back and really draw it on. Okay, now that I have that, you'll notice that this part is winged out a little bit more on this eye. So I'm just going to work on my edge a little bit here. I've drawn it out and now I can connect it. Okay, and you see how 
soft that pencil was that just the faintest little marks that I was making still showed up that's the kind of pencil you want to go for and when you can find it for $2.99 that's awesome a couple weeks ago, I went to MAC looking to replenish my um, eyeshadow called Goldmine, and I found this. It is a gold color. You may not be able to really see how rich the gold is on camera, but it's called Sunny Outlook, but any gold will do. So I'm going to put that on my finger, and literally just right in the center of that outline, I'm just going to continue to pack it on until I have a color that's bold enough. Okay, and I'm pleased with that. All right, now again, taking this green color. Oh, I didn't even tell you guys the actual color name. Oh, it's called number 937 teal, that green. It's not really teal. It's definitely more of like a forest green. Um, teal kind of has like blue undertones. This doesn't, so I don't know why they called it teal, but whatever. I'm just going to very sloppily add some of that, keeping within the guideline that we've drawn for ourselves. And I'm going to do the same on the inner eye. Okay, and once again, I'm going to reiterate how important it is to use a soft pencil for something like this. Because the next step is we're going to blend that out. If you have something that's hard and doesn't go on your skin very, very easily, you're not going to be able to smudge it, and that's no good. So I'm taking um, just a small, very tiny, rounded brush like this, and I'm just going to fan that out. Okay, so the color isn't so stark. Now I'm going to be working from a palette that I bought at Sephora a couple months ago. Any of you who are into the show True Blood um, may have heard of this palette. It's a palette from a company called Tarte. That's T-A-R-T-E. And I'm going to use this green here. It's called Moss. Um, this was really cute. It's a, it's a themed palette uh, that, see right there, Tarte made this for uh, True Blood lovers. I'm not a True Blood fan. I just liked the idea of all of these colors that were super, super big in one palette. That's why I got it. So using this green... Again, I can't reiterate enough, if you don't have what it is that I'm using, you can substitute with whatever you have. It's not about the products that I'm using per se, it's I'm just showing you how to use what I have. So I don't have exactly what Beyonce has either because guess what, I don't even know what she was using in those videos, in any of her videos. So I'm just using what I have that's similar to it. And for the things that I don't have, just like that green pencil, I go out and buy and I try to buy it cheap because I don't know how I'm going to like it or when I'm going to use it. So I'm patting this green color on and you see it's blending in really, really nicely with our outline. And as we get towards the yellow or the gold, I mean, I'm just going to pat very softly and then I'm going to take my finger and just try to blend it out very slightly. Okay, so it, you see it's starting to, to fade in really nicely. And I'm going to take that green color and do the same on my inner eye. Being very careful to stay within the lines of our guide that we place down. Okay, I'm pleased with that. So I'm going to go over with a green line uh, for an eyeliner using this same green. Now I do want to be very careful that I get all the way up against my lash line so that I don't have any yellow or gold popping through. Okay, and I'm going to take a wet wipe and just clean under my eye any fallout that may have... Um, fallen while putting on our eyeshadows. Okay, and now I can put on my concealer. This is Studio Finish from MAC. It's a very full coverage concealer to cover my full coverage dark circles. All right, and now that the concealer's on, I'm going to take some of this translucent powder from MAC. It is part of the Prep and Prime line that MAC carries. And it's just a white powder that we use as a setting powder. Looks white in the jar and goes on clear. 
Okay, and I'm going to take that same small little bl blending brush that we used and just run it inside of a damp wet wipe. I want to make sure that that's really moist. And I'm going to take this purple color from Urban Decay. I don't even know what the name of it is. I, I peeled it out of the palette just so that um, I didn't have to carry that bulky palette anymore. And the back of it doesn't have a name on it. It was just glued in there. So it really doesn't matter though. Whatever purple it is that you have that's kind of light and shiny, that's what you should be using. I'll try to find the exact name of this for you to put on my blog. And wetting it makes it even more shiny than it would had I not wet it. And then I'm going to take another really pretty color from that Tarte palette, and that's this deep, deep, deep purple. It's called Glamour Me. And I'm going to run that on the outer part of my lash line and fading it into that purple. Okay, and now I want to take that green that we used so much throughout this look and just line my waterline. All right, and that really completes the eye look. I'm going to throw on some mascara because it doesn't appear that Beyonce is wearing any eyelashes in this video. Make sure you put some mascara on your bottom lashes too. Okay, so that was um, easy enough. Now for the cheeks, I'm going to use a slight contour uh, by taking just a mineral powder from MAC that's a little bit too dark for me. And I'm just going to put that in the hollow of my cheek. It doesn't really look like Beyonce has too intense of a contour. So there we go. Nothing major. And I'm going to take my favorite blush. This is Gingerly from MAC for a very simple cheek. And I'm going to use this really pretty um, mineral bronzer from MAC. This is called Gold Deposit. And just put that on the ball of my cheek right here to add some shine. You see how that makes it nice and glossy. All right, and for these lips that Beyonce is rocking, I want to take a color from NYC, another drugstore brand that's super cheap. And I use this on clients all the time. People love this color, and I'm always so excited to find um, something that's inexpensive. And for those of you who are wondering, no, it does not come like this. I uh, put all of my lipsticks in these stackable jars just for sanitary purposes because all I have to do is just take a brush and dip it into here and then I'll put it on the back of my hand like that. That way I don't have to spray down a tube of lipstick every time I want to use it with alcohol. And Beyonce is looking very glossy in this look. So I'm going to take a wet slick from CoverGirl. It's called a fruit sp spritzer, and the color is 535. I just ran out to Rite Aid to get this today. Huh. And just put that all over for that extra shine Beyonce has. So that does complete our look for the Beyonce party video. This is several different looks combined into one, and I really hope that you guys liked it. If you want to learn about all of the products that I've used, there's always a detailed list in the blog section of my website. And there's a link down here in the information box that I always keep in all of my information boxes to the blog where you can find all the products that I've used. Also to my Twitter, I hope you guys are following me, to my Facebook fan page. I hope you guys have liked me on there already. And also to my second channel, which is just about my life. Um, here on YouTube. So with that said, I hope you go down and check out all of those links and I will see you guys right back here very soon. Thanks. Bye.